feeling about this. I'm sorry, I was talking to my tater tots again. Let's go. Time for round one. Two prompts will appear on your device, which you can answer in any clever or not clever way you want. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's and decide who wins. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Alrighty. Let's take a look. Starting things off, the name that cavemen probably gave to diarrhea. The name that cavemen probably gave to diarrhea. Poop okay, soup favorite. or ass destruction. Think. Okay. Like ass destruction is a little bit complex for a caveman. So I'm gonna go with that one. is the least appetizing name for least a appetizing name for a restaurant. <laughs> it's voting time. Butt sex. Not to be confused with butt sex. Two T's. But, or we serve steak. Come on, people. We serve steak had to be in there. Had to throw it in. Next up, trash talk you would hear at a chess meet. I checked oh, your mate. Voices. My rook is gonna sodomize your queen. What the fuck? There we go, we got fucking nightball working now. I don't know what's going on with Twitch. Coming up next, the name fucking of the worst PlayStation baby doll. was down all day today. <coughs> the name of the worst baby doll. Baby takes an ass. What? Or baby Bill Cosby? Why is the baby taking an ass? Where is it? Where is it taking the ass to? Where's the ass going? Next in line, something you shouldn't get your significant something other for Valentine's Day. Something you shouldn't get your significant other for oh, Valentine's Day. A scale or a heart-shaped divorce letter. I, I like the, the scale answer, actually. It's pretty funny. Ha ha! Oh, people, you gotta vote. Yeah, a scale that would not be very good. In fact, the only way a scale might be good is if you bought a really big commercial Molly, scale what are you used doing? for weighing beef and stuff, and they think that it's too huge not to be hilarious. What? He like responded to the answer. That That's cool. round one. Let's take a look at the scores. He liked it. He liked the answer. <laughs> Two is straight ahead, and that means all points are doubled.
Guys, you gotta answer too. Jeez. Come on, guys. What happened? Why is nobody answer? Come on, seven, six, five, four, three. Oh, you guys are getting in the last seconds here. Okay, it's don't time forget for that you are being timed, so if you don't answer, tourist attraction in hell. Tourist attraction in hell. Shoving okay, a pineapple up Hitler's ass or Osama's butthole. Okay, I'm not sure how. Shoving a pineapple is an attraction. That sounds more like an activity, but I mean, okay, next one. The most the most surprising person, person to, to admit the being killer. the Zodiac Killer: Jim Carrey or it's Adam done. Sandler. Fucking A, man. It would be, it would be Adam Sandler because he's in everything now. It would be Adam Sandler, dumb mums, you are correct. Next huh? one. Something gonna be fun to watch ride an escalator. <sighs> Vote on your devices. Give it great, Mom. Good one, Moose Knuckle. And next, a theme for a desk calendar. That a theme for a desk well. calendar that wouldn't sell very well. Assless chaps or and your pooper didn't get time to answer. That's very unfortunate. And next is a realistic, honest fast food slogan. Bacon is bad. It's not bad, it's good. What you Why? Why you don't say about my bacon boy? No Let's see the damage. Who's winning? Moose Knuckles still winning. Round three. Welcome to the last lash, the final round. Stakes are tripled. There's just one prompt, and you're all getting it. The last flash prompt is Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Hmm. Who did let the dogs out? If you're in the audience or if you want to play All right, here's the board. Uh, okay, you'll be li back later. You no, you can't leave cuz we're going to play. So Snoop Lion, Snoop Dogg. Why is everybody snooping? It's going to make a Joke about anal sex, but fuck it, or I don't know, but Bush did 9 11. Uh. 
Did anyone even call him Snoop Lion when he like changed his name? I don't think anyone did, because nobody gave a fuck. You can't... You can't have that name and just... Change it. Alright, we're gonna play a new game. With a new code. So everyone prepare your bums. That's all. Now for the final score. You're watching the stream. Nah. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. B U C seconds. See if we can get somebody else in. But you can call me Schmitty. Also, you may call me Schmitty. And remember, win at any cost. Any cost. Ready? This is round one. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! <coughs> I answer quick. I just think whatever the first thing I can think of. I don't even try to be funny. I, it's called quiplash. <clears throat> and quips are supposed to be like fast and quick and quipping and lashing and all that good stuff. <laughs> Don't forget to answer and vote. Let's hear it. Okay, here we go. 
Our first prompt is a weirdly enticing subject line for an email in your spam folder. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Hmm. I like I like one better than the other, but I'm not gonna say which one I like because that's weird. <laughs> that's too much information to be giving on stream. I think. Coming up next, the name of the reindeer. The name of the reindeer Santa didn't pick to pull his sleigh. Grumpy or Rudolph Small? Okay. Okay, next one. On the 147th on the, uh, day, of Christmas, my true love gave day of Christmas, my true love gave to me herpes or a Cosby teeny. I gotta go with the Bill Cosby and the pudding box. Ah. I mean, you could get herpes from that too, though. Like, herpes can be part of the deal. Next in line, the worst thing you could stuff a bed mattress with? Vote on your devices. Ooh, the worst thing you could stuff a bed mattress with? Swords and nails or body parts? Ooh, I got that quip, boy! I got that quip, boy! Next up, something, something upsetting, upsetting you could say to the cable guy as he installs, the the guy as he installs. <laughs> Run my it's shit, bitch. Time. Yeah, get in there <laughs> nice and deep. Uh, that's a good one. I like that. Good answers, guys.